Let me ask you a question. Okay. How do you feel about people? I know how I see it, but how do you feel about people calling you a culture vulture? I get asked this all the time. And to me, that's the equivalent of someone calling me a honky. Now, this is how I see it. I say, well, he created a platform that he built over 20 something years. 15 years. Or whatever, whatever it is. He created this platform. And his platform is an attractive flat platform and has been known to help artists or individuals with their growth in numbers or so on and so on, or, or notoriety. Yes. So you're mad at him because we support him? Like, I, I never understood that. Listen. You know what I mean? I people was, call yeah. Leo Cohen a culture vulture. That's crazy. This is one of the most accomplished human beings in music. I just interviewed him. He's the head of the biggest musical yeah. platform on yeah. earth. Yeah. And people, too. and when I dropped that interview, the amount of viciousness and vitriol that people would, oh, this is this guy's the devil, he's evil. And I'm like, this motherfucker I has mean, done more. He started 300. He was the head, he was the first hip hop head of a major label. Yeah. He he was the, the chairman of Warner Music. Like, this guy has put- and he went over to YouTube. That's what, and then he went to YouTube, became the head of YouTube Music Global. Kevin Lyles, um, all of those people came all up under people, him. Gabby Peluso. All of these people. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? People call Steve Rifkin a culture vulture. Nah. See what I'm saying? So, so I'm in the I'm in the same category. If if I'm in the same category as all these Steve greats. Uh, SRC, right? Yeah. Yeah. Loud records. Loud. Alcoholics. You know J. Roll Frump Oh my God. J. Roll Frump You know that, right? I didn't know that. He's Frump no, I didn't know that. That's what you're No, I'm saying like. Three Six Mafia, Big Pun, yeah. Wu Tang Clan, yeah. Fat Joe, like like these are all me, me, me these are Steve, all oh, me and Re Steve had not Fat Joe, well, Fat Fat Joe and Remy Ma, you know, me, Terror, Terror Squad. Me I mean. and Steve had our little, we had our little, we had our little things, you know. Ray J, Ray J wanted to do something. Right, he was signed. Ray J was on SRC. I'm Akon. Ready. Like, like, these are all yeah. greats that this man put out who's also called a culture vulture. So whenever I hear that, I'm like, okay, it's because I'm white, and that's fine. I, I could deal with that. It's not a big deal because I have put, like, honestly, I almost created the industry of people getting paid for interviews and supporting themselves off this. I was the first one Check to really start doing Check your platform out. Yeah. How many subs you got, man? 5.7 million. Yeah, I checked your platform out. I didn't realize that you got a subscription-based yeah. situation to see, to watch the whole thing in entirety. Yeah, you got the membership section? Yeah. yeah, I've I've innovated, you know, like how people talk about clipping these days. Oh, you know, oh, we're going to put this out as a, as a clip. I was doing that in 2008. You know what I'm saying? Like, I created a lot of shit. How, how, how many loyal members you got? What do you mean? You got oh, members. Am I members? Yeah, I, yeah 5.7 ain't all members. No, absolutely not. It's it's in the uh, it's in the five digits. Gotcha. That's a good deal. Yeah. yeah, it's not in the millions or the hundreds of thousands, but it's in the five digits, That's and they pay deal. their five bucks a month, and they're happy to do it. That's you cool. know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah, like I, I don't mind when people call me that. It's like it, it's all good, man. No, I don't. I don't see you as a culture vulture. Yeah. You know, I, I don't see you. I, I I think Dame Dash was the one I seen pushing that. And I'm like, I don't. I don't see him as that. 